You are freezing. What's uh, what was it like when you rode Perry Rowboat? I think we had uh, we had definitely had dry weather. It was warmer yeah. than this for sure. And now, yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, it was a uh, one hell of a race. They don't call it hell of the north for no reason. And yeah, it was a bit of a mixed mixed race for myself. We had to bring the brake back early, and then it was a matter of yeah survived to get to the finish so we got in a got in a big group and it just kept getting smaller and smaller and then i think we were not the last group on the road but i think we lost like 20 something minutes which yeah. on a fast roubaix is yeah it's, it's, it's okay. well having done a job that's that's quite normal though yeah i think i think, I think there's i was with uh i think there's rowie in there durbridge and there was a few of us who were all done jobs so yeah. we're just getting to the finish really and mm. i said probably Probably knew that I maybe wouldn't ride it again, so I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd try and get to the velodrome, and yeah, that I did, which was, which was nice. I guess that's something, not even just just to finish it, like like finishing a Tour de France, etc. And you finished Tour of Italy. Um, that's something just just nice to look back on, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was in a really busy period there. I sort of done Flanders the week before, then uh, Roubaix, and then I was on to Amstel. So it was a matter of just like, yeah, shall I finish it? You know, <laughs> shall I save myself for Amstel? But it was like, yeah, it's a a week's time I'll uh, I'll think of that when it comes but that was that was that I got to the got to the velodrome. I um I, I think everybody looks at pictures of the, the cobbles and think how can anyone ride over them and then we see you guys floating over them. Is it as easy as the, as the pros make it look? Sometimes it's the same as anything if you get it right you get it right you can mm. literally just float over them but if you if you slightly take a knock and then you feel like you're back on sector one if you I think I remember on, I think it was the uh, Kefla de Abri, I hit a big hole and I think I lost my chain and I thought I thought it was game over, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then I managed to come back to the group in front, so like I say, it's good until you get something wrong and then it just it sends you backwards, which is, uh, which is not nice when you've got no energy left. <laughs>